Okay, so in lesson one here, we need to go ahead and import our image planes into Maya so that we have something to model off of, so that we have a reference in order to actually model off of, which is going to make it easier for us to go ahead and model our iPhone. So, first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we actually have all of our images or all of our viewports at the the zero 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 axis through our Maya channels and the easiest way to go ahead and do that is if you go ahead and click in each one of your viewports you see the little home button next to the view cube view cube all you have to do is just go ahead and click it and just make sure that you know the screen doesn't move or just you know go to your four view screen by hitting spacebar in each window you know or in the in the um perspective viewport and then just go ahead and hit new scene and this way that we know for sure that our axis is in each one of these windows is completely zeroed out now doing that all we have to do to bring in an image plane is just hit view image plane import image and this will take an image from our source images folder in our um, project directory but since I have a tool that will actually do this for me. I'm not going to go ahead and you know do each one individually through the, uh, the uh, windows that they are. I'm just going to go ahead and use the tool that I used that I created to bring in the images, which basically does the same thing. The only difference is my tool will actually set it to where I need them um, in the windows. You know, this would actually be in the x-axis, back in the x-axis, this would be back in the z-axis, and this would be down in the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and just click my tool here. And each label here brings in a certain certain image. So this would bring in the side image, this would bring in the top image, the front image. The back image here will also not only bring in an image, but it's also going to bring in a uh, new window which will be called a back window with the back window so I'm just going to start and basically bring in the, the three that we need which are the side the top and the front so let's go ahead and bring in the side image and this is going to be the left side and a big thanks goes out to Ben Tate for providing me with all of these images so there's our side let's go ahead and bring in our front And as you can see, there's no front image in here, and that's because the code that's actually inside of this is hiding that image in the uh, perspective viewport, and it goes along with the back window as well. So let's go ahead and bring in our top image here. And you can see that it's already going to bring these in, not at the zero, zero, zero axis inside of my, it's already placing these. And now that we have our images set up, in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and start modeling our iPhone.